what is up everybody today is well i'm not actually sure i think it's like august 25th 26 um 2020 been a minute since i've been out here today we are going to be fishing the delaware bay try and load up on some spot uh for bait um i have a friend coming out to meet me out here fishing so it should be a pretty cool video so stay tuned i'm gonna show you what we're using for bait and the rigs Alright, so for today's rig, we're going to keep it real simple. We have a sabiki rig with four Mustad uh, size 6 hooks. Uh, just zoom in real quick. All it is is a size 6 with a little mylar on the end and a little bead. Now, there's four hooks that are attached by dropper loops. They're about 6 inches apart. And we're probably just going to be using one and a half, two ounces of lead today. Um, just because... There shouldn't be that much current where we're fishing and especially using a medium light rod uh, you don't want to be using super heavy lead now uh, the brilliance of these rigs is it's about a four foot rig so I'm I have baits I'm gonna hold it straight up real quick when it is on the bottom we're looking at you know first baits about six inches off the bottom second baits about a foot then we go up to you know 18 inches and then so on and so forth nice thing about that is you're covering all different co uh, parts of the water column um, especially when these fish get you know balled up in big schools um, it is nice to kind of see where they're feeding primarily it seems like it's the bottom hook but you never know uh, re the last time I went was over a year ago for them and you know they were biting so much that I was catching them all the way up to the you know hook two feet up but uh today we're going to be targeting you know spotting croakers i know uh that this time of year when the war temp gets warm they move into the delaware bay pretty well so uh hopefully we'll be on them now i am going to be fishing from a kayak so what i'm going to be trying to do is use this angler's uh best live well um i've used it once before for trout when I was fishing out of my kayak and it seemed to work pretty well um, if you've seen my kayak videos you know that I'm rocking like the Walmart special so I really don't have any storage on the kayak for fish so this should be you know the perfect ticket today um, hopefully we'll have some you know spot or croaker in there so stay tuned we're about to get fishing all right we're getting the hit fish on baby first first fish of the day damn Oh man, son, look at that. Look at that giant spot, man. That is some great bait right there, man. In fact, one that big, man, you could definitely fillet up. They're uh, actually pretty good to eat, so we're gonna just add them to the live well. All right, so what I'm doing is just baiting up blood worms on this uh, sabiki rig. Try not to let any of it dangle off, because if you let anything dangle off, it'll just rip it right off. But uh, where I'm fishing is in a, a little bit of a hole. There's a lot of shallow water behind me. Um, right now I'm in a little bit of a deeper spot and it seems to be holding the fish. Um, but man, it feels good to be back out here. Oh, look at that, look how quick that was feels good to be back out filming I feel bad you know I wish I could have been putting out videos all July and, and August but with with my work schedule literally was out you know working 16 to 18 hour days on a boat really didn't you know provide me much time to get out fishing of my own um, you know at, when I did have off days in those two months I did want to spend them with my daughter because you know time is short and I don't want to regret you know not fishing or i'm sorry not spend time with my daughter you know i can fish you know when she grows up but can't get back those moments Ooh, getting a hit there we go baby let's go damn yeah these are a nice size spot man trust in my throw I gotta move it closer because I'll end up throwing them overboard yeah but 
unfortunately the last few months I haven't been able to put out content um, just because my work schedule has been pretty busy uh, 16 to 18 hour days every day and when I did get days off you know I spent them with my daughter so if you've been wondering why I haven't been putting out videos recently that that's you know the reason but I do uh, see myself putting out a lot more videos with the beginning of fall and winter I'll have a lot more time on my hands than I did during you know July and August but uh, it just feels good to be back out here again you know on the water with a rod in the hand I mean I honestly I was coming into today not worrying if I caught anything you know I just wanted to be out on the water again and get my rod wet but it does it does add to it when you're catching fish man go one in the pot now oh that was a bad cast let me get that back out there um best thing about these spot is you can do whatever you want with them i mean these bigger guys are really good for you know chunk bait like i'll freeze them in packs of three for a catfish or you know stripers um if you can keep them live man they are like the ultimate striper bait back home for me um and they're honestly not bad eating. I was saying that earlier. I might, you know, keep some of the bigger ones to fillet up and, you know, make some fish tacos out of or something. Now, I did have some people reaching out to me, kind of giving me a hard time about not putting up videos uh, recently. But, you know, I truly do believe family comes first. And, you know, as much as I enjoy making these YouTube videos and going out fishing, uh, those don't pay the bills. and got to make sure you take care of your family before you have a good time so if you you know I'm sorry to anybody that you know has been waiting but you know this does not pay the bill so got to make that money while you can It'd be cool if this could pay, pay the bills man because I'll tell you what man catching fish for a living would be probably the ideal lifestyle but unless you're a professional which I'm not got to roll with the punches man oh that guy fell right off in the pot all right let's get her back out in the honey hole right there yeah now last summer when i was fishing this area we were getting weak fish spot flounder a few trigger fish that's the best thing about the delaware bay is that there's so many you know unique species that come in when this warm water comes in i haven't checked my uh deeper sonar yet because it does take a few minutes to get the uh, water temp down where it's an accurate temperature but i will be putting that uh in the information down below because it, it definitely makes a difference when you have that warm water fish on Yeah, I'll tell you what, for their size, they fight pretty well. They're an undervalued fish, man, I swear. Now, one of the uh, factors that I think is definitely going to affect today is the water clarity. Um, when you get this much wind, we're also at a dead low tide right now. In fact, the tide should start coming in very soon, but... Uh, when you get that, the whole outgoing tide from the Delaware Bay and all this wind, the water does get pretty murky, um, but it doesn't seem to be, you know, killing the fishing right now. We are having action, um, you know, nice thing about these windy days is it kind of keeps some of the, you know, weekend warriors off the water because they get a little weirded out by the waves, but as long as you anchor the correct way, you can, you know, fish it all day. I, there was a guy out here earlier who was anchored side two and literally was getting pounded wave after wave and, and decided to call it quits and paddled back but if you just anchor into the waves it's it's not as bad and you know oh fish on oh fish off missed him yeah so we're gonna 
set the anchor here. All I'm going to be doing, just pulling, is getting up to a spot. Um, I do have my depth finder, but where I'm at, it, it, it's not like crucial to anchor right on top of them because you can, you can honestly just cast around and find them. But what I'm going to do real quick is uh, situate the boat real quick. up a little bit tide kind of switched so kind of moved to a different hole um, hoping with the incoming water might get you know some different species maybe some more bites but oh just as like I said we're getting a little bit of a hit fish on fish on baby man it's a good feeling when oh double header brother oh and a different species two croakers now Bail real quick. Uh, cr croakers have to be, um, I believe, eight inches in Delaware. I don't think these guys are going to make it because they're both kind of small. But nothing like doubles, man. All right, we're going to let these guys go because they're clearly undersized. If we get some bigger ones. I'll definitely keep them to fillet because they're uh, they're not bad eating. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, uh, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, click subscribe down below. Uh, give my boy Keep Casting a, a, a follow as well. I'm gonna put his link in the information. And uh, stay tuned, because we got a plenty of videos coming up soon. Have a great day.